Hey YouTubers and welcome to Can't Cook with Jason. Today I'm going to show you how to make Cantonese roast duck, which has rich and tender meat and a gorgeously crispy melt in the mouth skin. Be sure to keep watching to find out some of the secrets to making Cantonese roast duck that rival Chinatown restaurants and at a fraction of the price. Please subscribe, click the bell icon to be notified of my new content and post a comment and like. First, we need to make a dry spice rub for the cavity. So one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of five spice, one teaspoon of sugar, and mix together. To make the marinade for the inside of the duck, one tablespoon of soy, one tablespoon of poison sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of yellow bean paste, and mix really well. I normally buy frozen duck, about 1.3 kilos in weight, and then defrost this at room temperature. We're now going to add that dry rub into the cavity, and use your hand to spread and coat all the inside with that rub. I'm not gonna lie, this feels pretty gross, but the things we have to do for a good roast duck, eh? Before I forget, if your duck has the head removed, then you'll need to use some skewer to stitch up that gaping hole. This can easily be done by securing a flap of skin across the hole. This will also be useful later on, so keep watching. Okay, back to the cavity. Now add in the wet marinade using a spoon or just pouring it into the duck. Now to add some fresh aromatics. So chuck in three peeled garlic cloves and three to four slices of fresh ginger. Now that we've pimped up the inside of our duck, we need to secure it to prevent it from leaking back out. So taking a skewer, slowly stitch up the skin on either side of the cavity, pulling it together and then twisting to secure, and then finally pushing through into the breast to lock it in place. You can remove any excess skin and fat as this will only make it harder to achieve that crispy skin. Now for the cool part, we're going to give our duck some love and attention and give it a nice bath. So add 1.5 litres of boiling water into your largest pan, 80 millilitres of Chinese red vinegar, and the secret ingredient, two tablespoons of maltos, which gives it that incredible glossy finish without being overly sweet so it burns whilst roasting. Oopsie, clearly I didn't use a large enough pan. Ta-da, this is much better. Once the liquid is boiling, very carefully ladle the water over the entire duck. What we're trying to do here is make the skin contract and tighten, and at the same time start to add some colour to the duck, which will darken during the drying process. Although it's out of camera shot, I attached a meat hook to the horizontal skewers that I used to secure the neck cavity earlier, which allows me to safely hold the duck up whilst ladling the boiling liquid over the entire body. Once you've ladled the boiling liquid over the duck 8 to 10 times, then it's time for the next stage, which is drying the duck. Ideally, you can hang the duck to dry for 24 to 48 hours in a dark and cool place. But this isn't always feasible, so instead, I rest mine on a rack to ensure air can circulate all around the bird, and then I put it in a fridge uncovered for that 24 to 48 hours. After one to two days, you can see that the skin is very dry and has a tan colour to it. That tight, almost paper-like texture is exactly what we need if we want to achieve that glossy red finish. The next secret is we need to elevate the duck during the roasting process to allow the rendered fat to drip down and exit the bird. Pooling fat will make the skin go soggy, so we have to allow it to drain away and coincidentally save that liquid gold for epic roast potatoes at a later date. I have used a standard roasting rack here and simply raised one side of it to prop up the duck. Alright, after all that prep work, it's time. So put the duck into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 45 to 50 minutes. Wow, look at that bad boy. 
The colour is vibrant and even across the bird, without any super dark burnt patches. Just look at that skin, it's so tight and contracted from that water bath and crisp from the drying process that you can see the natural crisscross diamond pattern on the skin. And just look at that polished, glossy finish, which is from the Motos, absolutely beautiful. Don't laugh at my invention, I call it the Duck Station 2000 and will be patenting this bad boy. Alright, joking aside, we seem to have an Amazon delivery almost every day due to lockdown. And besides making a fort for my four-year-old, I turn one of these boxes into a splatter guard. If you're going to be chopping the duck with a Chinese cleaver, then you're likely to turn your kitchen into Thunderdome without something like this. So there we have it, an absolutely sumptuous, rich and flavoursome roast duck with super crispy skin that is to die for. Serve this with some soft, fluffy rice, and if you're feeling extra indulgent, then dare I say, with a side of roast pork belly and tar seal the king of the Chinese three roast meats. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, please subscribe and like the video and catch you next week for more exciting recipes.